Hey McFly subscribers, so I'm doing another unboxing today. Obviously you can see it's a reel. So I was contacted by this company called Pessy Fun, but it's got a C in there. I thought it was Pesky Fun, but it's Pessy Fun. Contacted me and said they'd like to send me a reel and want me to review it. Now I looked up the company and they're from China and I was a little weary about it and I even, I you know, I said, I. I don't know if I can do that, you know, I just didn't really trust it would be a good reel uh, being from China, just kind of mentally ingrained in me, don't buy Chinese products, and I was like, you know, I, I'd hate to give you guys a terrible review, and they were like, no, we believe in our product, uh, it's a good product, and I don't think you'd give it a bad review, and I was like, alright, well, send it, I'll take a look at it, and I'll review it on camera for you. Guys, I'm actually kind of blown away by this thing, and this is, you know, I'm not getting any money from this, I'm just getting a, you know, they, they did give me a free reel, but this is actually really well made. I mean, for, now get, here's the thing, this is $49 starting, so this, this size I think is 58, this is the 5, five 6 size, they have a 3-4, I think it's $49, and I think it goes up from that for the larger size, but... This, uh, for 60 bucks, there we go. This one's 58 something. $60 for a reel. Guys, it's fully machined. This is a fully machined reel. That I haven't had a chance to test the drag, okay? But look at how well balanced that is. That spins pretty well, okay? It's not bad. And it's got kind of the same setup as Joe's reel or you spin it off and you know spin off this nut here and then and pop it off now the drag is not fully there I go dropping it the drag is not fully sealed okay guys so this is not a sealed drag so you don't want to be dropping in salt water that's one thing to think about now so if you're a saltwater fisherman when you're fishing freshwater you definitely don't want to go sticking it you know dunking it in the freshwater either okay so there's one negative on it but for me I can excuse that negative that to me is is it's nice to have so this is the other fully machined reel I have the sage 3200 that comes from a major company obviously sage you've heard of it but this is a $220 reel $58 reel I, I don't know I mean I would rather get four to five of these than just have one of these. This is just, I think, the best deal I've found on fly reel. Granted, a lot of you are gonna ask about that Maverick reel, and I think that's still a phenomenal deal. That is a really, really, really good reel. It's, it's nicer looking. So is this. This is nicer looking than this. I think the Maverick reel is nicer looking than the Sage. And definitely nicer looking than the Sword, okay, from Pessy Fun. It's nicer looking. It is. And this, there's something about it that just, I think it's thin aluminum. It's not as substantial, but of course that drops the weight. This is 4.7 ounces, which isn't bad. Which is about the same, I think, as, uh, it's a little heavier than Joe's reel. Okay, but Joe's reel, obviously, there's something special about his reel. It's got that X, you know, um, it, it's, uh, you know, semi-frame with that X on it. It's a nicer looking reel for sure than this. And it just feels more substantial than this. Just like this feels more substantial. But, you know, really for, for 60 bucks to get a five weight, you know, I, I've i got multiple five weights because I've fished multiple different lines. So I'm, I'm fishing sometimes a sinking line, sometimes a floating line, sometimes a faster sinking and whatnot, you know, sink tip versus full sinking. You know, I've, I fish most, multiple different types and to, I think the spool on this is $30. So if you were to get this plus you could get like six, eight spools or something, plus this reel for the same price as this Sage. So it's kind of hard to beat, guys. 
really is. So if you haven't checked this company out, if you're like me, you're wary about buying Chinese products. I get it. I, I don't like doing it. I like supporting American made. I really do, but you know, Sage doesn't make their reel in the United States. They send it out. I, th I don't know exactly where it's made, but it's not made in the United States. Um, I think Galvin makes them in the United States. There's uh, a reel called Galvin. They make it in the, in the United States for a fully machined reel of theirs with a drag. I think the cheapest one is $280 or something like that, right? So for 60 bucks. I don't know. I, I, I like this. I'm going to fish it. Okay, so let's talk about the quality. Let's let's compare it to this, right? So this is kind of where you're going to go with. Uh, this has a little better balance, right? So when you're when you spin it real fast, which it's not going to, but I remember from before, when you spin it, it's well balanced. There's no wobble, okay? Because they put a a weight um, a counterweight there, and there's no wobble to it at all. They put a counterweight here too, but there is a bit, and I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little wobble to it. Okay, but it's still, look at that, it still spins really well. So a little wobble to me, no big deal. So the machining on this, there's something about the way, I don't know if it's the way they machined or the, the finish they put on the Sage. Same thing with Joe's Reel, it's a really good finish. Might be the way it's machined, I don't know, but it just feels softer, it feels better, it's a little little nicer feel of a reel. And it just seems like it would last longer, it just seems more heavy duty, but it's still light. Okay, this has it does have, I will be honest, a little more of a, I wouldn't say cheap, because it's not, it's, it's well made, it's not cheaper, it just, uh, it, it feels like thinner aluminum, I guess. That's the only way I can explain it. And the finish isn't quite as good as the Sage or Joe's uh, Maverick reel, the two reels I've uh, I've reviewed, right? But this is far and away, I think, better. I think this is a better reel than my Sage 2250, which I've I still use a lot. And that's a $120, $130 reel. It's not fully machined. Okay, this is fully machined for 60 bucks. Uh, hello, that's a good deal. So sure, there, it's not perfect. It's not gonna be, I guess, as well machined as this Sage. Okay, but this is $220 versus 60. Okay, so I think this is by far one of the better deals I have seen. So I, I haven't fished with it yet, guys. I plan on getting out soon and hooking some bigger fish, so stay, stay tuned on that. But I do plan on trying to get some bigger fish that will pull drag so I can see how the drag goes. Now I've tightened this down and I've done the test and it seems smooth, okay? But really you can't fully tell until you get out there and catch fish, right? So you might want to stay tuned on that, see how the drag is, but it does seem pretty smooth. Again, not fully sealed okay so you're gonna want to make sure you don't dunk this okay but small price to pay to not dunk your your reel to be able to get four of them for the same price am i right so they have multiple different colors i think gold they even have like a pink they have you know they have all different colors this is just kind of what they sent me i didn't even ask for anything specific also a nice thing is this this has a a metal aluminum handle to it. Everything is aluminum. You know, it, it doesn't come in a nice neoprene sock like some of them do. Almost every reel I've gotten, it's a nice neoprene. You know, this is just a cloth microfiber type of bag that it comes in. It's not terrible. But what do you expect for I mean, heck, it gotta save some money somewhere, right? So this, I mean, this doesn't bother me at all. Plus I've got like a thousand <laughs> neoprene socks for reels. Plus I've seen them online. I mean, I think Amazon sells them for 10 bucks. So there you go, you get one of those and for $70, you really have to have a neoprene sock. You still got a great reel 
for 70 bucks. And another amazing thing about this is they have a three year warranty on this. That's what it says. Now, is it a limited liability warranty type of thing where, I, I don't know. Do you have to pay for the shipping for it to China? I don't know. It doesn't really go into that. But it does have a three year warranty, which is pretty darn good, you know? So what would it cost total out of your pocket to get this fixed if something breaks? I don't know, I have no clue. Uh, will they pay the shipping instead of you? I highly doubt it, maybe. And if they do, wow. Okay, and, and the more I find out about this, uh, the more I'll, you know, I'll tell you guys, I'll let you guys know, and I'll even update the description section down below, so keep checking back on this if you are interested. The more I find out about this, I'm sure they'll probably see this and go, oh, no, we pay it, you know, uh, if I, <laughs> if they see it, right? No, you, you know, if they don't, if they, you know, if they don't pay it and you have to and it ends up being 20, 30 bucks, you know, still 20, 30 bucks, I mean, it's cheaper than buying a new reel, any new reel. You know, I talked with someone. They were, they texted me after they sent me the reel, and their goal is to produce a product that is decent quality, good pro quality, something very usable. Maybe not top tip top end, um, but they they want a high quality, well made, long lasting type of product at something that people can afford. I respect that. I mean, that's that's pretty good if that is really their goal and not just a sales pitch. But it seems like it is their goal because it seems like this is what they produced. They produced a decent, pretty good quality reel at a very reasonable price, $60, $58 for a 5.6. It's 49, 50 bucks, right? 49.95 or something for the Three, four weight. So, good job. I mean, there's, it's kind of rounded off at some of the points, okay? So you don't have anything super sharp. It is a little more sharp in some areas than others, and definitely more than what the machining is on the Sage, but, but really, anywhere you're gonna be mostly touching, you're not gonna feel that, and it is well, pretty well machined. I mean, you can't expect any more for a $50 reel. You just can't, guys. Now this little end cap here, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a different type of aluminum, but it feels cheaper than any other aluminum I've felt on reels. So that part, I don't know. Uh, but there's no problem with it like stripping. I, even if you turn it and try, and try to get it in there to, it's not going to go. You have to have it go in straight. So you're not going to strip that. You're not going to cross thread that, I mean. I I just was looking for the worst in this reel, trying to find the bad in it. I just cannot find anything bad about this reel. Chinese made reel. Can't find anything bad about it. Maybe I will when I go out fish it. Maybe I will. But it sure does feel really nice in hand. Well, guys, if you want to check this out, I'm going to put a link in the bottom. It is to Amazon. I'm going to put my affiliate link there so I do get something if you guys do want to buy it. Uh, but it's the same price on Amazon as it is on their website, and I did some search all around, try to find the best price on this, and Amazon seems to have the same as anywhere else. It's 58, I want to say 95 or something like that, 58, 88, or I don't know exactly, but you'll see in the link. It's definitely in the $58 range, okay? And I'll put a link on the, on the description section, just check that out down below, and you can see this reel. This is a great reel. <laughs> uh, go figure. Chinese products now starting to come up and up and making quality stuff. And you're getting kind of a savings on it. So it's a phenomenal deal. Good job, Pessy Fun. Good job on making a, an affordable reel that is not going to break the bank. But, you know, it's good quality. This is good quality 
fully machined. I mean, heck, guys, you're not going to find a fully machined reel for this price anywhere. You're just not. Well, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Again, check the description section. There's always more info in the description section about the videos. Now, you guys go catch some fish.